The following video contains graphic instructions for the Iwata Eclipse Double Action Airbrush. Please keep your hands and feet in and around your desk until the end of the presentation. Congratulations! You've recently purchased the Iwata Eclipse HP CS Double Action Airbrush, and I know that you want to get started, but first, let's begin by teaching you some basic usage and cleaning instructions. As you can see here, we will need an air compressor, an air hose, a paint of your choice, and the Iwata Eclipse HP CS Double Action Airbrush. Getting paint in your eye is not fun, so always remember, eye protection is required. After you post a picture of yourself wearing your stylish new glasses on Facebook, we can continue by connecting one side of the air hose to the air compressor. And then, you guessed it, we're going to connect the other side of the air hose to the airbrush. Wow, look at that. One side's connected to the air compressor, the other side's connected to the airbrush. We're almost ready to start painting. But first, it's time for a little pre-cleaning fun. Let's begin by taking a little bit of our paint cleaner and adding it to the cup on top of the airbrush. Oh, and by the way, unless you want cleaner all over the place, don't forget to put that lid back on the paint cup. Fumes are for fools. At least that's what my old instructor used to say. Just remember, always ensure adequate ventilation anytime you use that airbrush because the last thing you want to do is breathe in bad fumes. Contrary to popular belief, nobody wants to get sprayed in the face. So turn that frown upside down and spray the other way. That's just great. Now, let's make sure that we spray all that cleaner out before we go adding any paint to our paint cup. Aw, yellow. It's the color of the sun, caution lights, and bananas. But just remember, just because it looks like a banana, that doesn't mean you can eat it. Mm, yes, just remember that a little paint goes a long way. Before you know it, you'll be painting smiley faces on the side of brick walls. Or hey, if smiley faces are just too easy, perhaps you can try painting this distant landscape of the planet Moondark. Either way, sooner or later, just like summer, the fun's gotta end. So let's put some more paint cleaner in that cup, and we'll show you how to disassemble that gun and get it ready for storage. Get the paper towels ready, because you're going to need to get in there and clean that cup out. After we get that paint cup clean, we're going to move on to the next step, where we begin to disassemble that airbrush. First, hold the airbrush like so. Then, grip the rear part of the airbrush and rotate the section counterclockwise. Great. Now that we have removed the rear section, we can continue on to the next step. Next, grasp the retainer nut and rotate it counterclockwise. Then, use your middle finger to push down on the needle checking guide so that the needle can be released from the front section of the airbrush. Now it's time to slowly slide the needle out of the front section. Be careful, you don't want to damage that needle because then you wouldn't be able to use your lovely Iwata Eclipse HPCS Double Action Airbrush. Now we're just going to take that needle and we're going to soak it in paint cleaner for just a moment. Don't forget to dry that needle off completely and make sure that it's entirely clean before you begin to reassemble your Iwata Double Action Airbrush.
and voila, there you have it. A freshly cleaned Iwata Eclipse HP CS Airbrush. Ready to store or ready to paint again. The choice is yours.